disaster after party. I guess I could have played after party one, but so far, this is going to be the only after party for you. Okay. Before I get into the final thoughts of this show, I don't know how well this is going to play. Alright, lineup 13 that uh, Sog was in debuted 627.30. If it was still alive at the moment, in fact, it was about a month before he died. Uh, oh, well. I found it on this sheet. So, it's kind of. Yeah. Overflow the countdown here. Right, and main note line 15 runs from 33, well, number 33 through number 48, and we'll drop out that wake web at number 49. Blah, blah, blah actually became visible the week after past. That's where Wolf Don't Run, Echo, blah 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 blah, then you find Thug and number 28 I think it was and then it just started taking off after April's death. And we were, in April I managed to throw together a line of 14, but unfortunately those signs didn't stick around as long as songs normally do. They just can overtake but. And then Thug first hit number one. September 5th, 35, 2015 to us. Stay there four weeks. It stuck around until, well, the chart started collapsing. Then, for one week, somehow, Space Gray and the Invaders managed to sneak Good Luck Charm to number one for a week. And then it started dropping back. And then Thug managed to stay on the top. All the way until November 14th, 35, which would have been about three years ago this week. Personally, I think it would have been a little bit better if all the songs ended up peaking and leaving the countdown at the same time. Instead, of one song sticking around for months, being the only thing out there. You know, it didn't make much of a easy contender. Okay. Now, where did they come up with the idea for music to devastate the globe by in stereo for the Grand Sits collection? Now, I remember April talking about how, uh, Disaster Area's music was supposed to be that loud. Then all of a sudden, um, 
I got kind of a flashback to a Rescue Ranger episode in which um, Professor Nimno mentions such an album called Music to Devastate the Globe on the Stars. Did a little research, found out exactly what episode it came from. Um, Normie's Science Project or something like that. But he borrowed someone else's record to play on Nemno's device. It pretty much wrecked the school. But, uh, when Nemno mentioned the record they had on there, he referenced it as music to devastate the world by. I thought, that is perfect. That is disaster area to a team. So that's how it became a little name. Okay, now are you ready for your final song, Disaster Area? Yeah! Okay, now I was trying to Search YouTube for what could be used as a hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy in Best I could come up with is this song called So Long and Thanks for All the Fish. So, here we go. Long and thanks for all the fish. So sad that it's the time to this. We try to warn you from the fish. You can select. Yeah, try to explain the Okay, and that concludes the disaster area concert. We'll be back in a couple of weeks for Dark Magicians featuring Wild Stallions. So, good night.
so long, and thanks for all listening. But anyhow, we had pitched for something.